Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will explain masticator space infection. The submandibular and masticator spaces are the most common spaces involved in deep space neck infections requiring hospital admission. The masticator space includes four spaces mesoteric or submesoteric space, perigomandibular space, superficial temporal space, and deep temporal space. The masticator space is bounded by the fascia overlying the mesoter muscle medial pterygoid muscle, temporalis muscle, and the skull. The most common offending tooth in masticator space infections is the mandibular third molar due to perichronitis. The masticator space is affected commonly from adatogenic infections and formed by the splitting of the anterior layer of the deep cervical fascia. This superficial or investing layer of the deep cervical fascia surrounds all of the muscles of mastication. This fascia which divides at the inferior border of the mandible to pass laterally over the mesoter muscle, it travels over the mesoter muscle fusing with the periosteum of the zygomatic arch. Lateral to this location is the peratidomesoteric fascia. This fascia continues superior to the zygomatic arch as a deep temporal fascia covering the temporalis muscle and terminating at the insertion of the temporalis muscle at the temporal crest and medially over the medial pterygoid muscle terminates at the junction of the pterygoid plates and sphenoid bone. This facial envelope, this one, as well as the surfaces of the skull that forms its medial border. This is known as the masticator space. The superficial and deep temporal spaces are divided from each other by the temporalis muscle. This superficial temporal and the deep temporal. These are separated from each other, each other by the temporalis muscle. Similarly, submesoteric and superficial temporal spaces. These are separated by the zygomatic arch. The pterygomandibular and deep temporal space. These are separated by the lateral pterygoid muscle. The infratemporal space, this one, is the inferior aspect of the deep temporal space and lies between the lateral pterygoid muscle and infratemporal crest of the sphenoid bone. These four spaces are separate compartments that compromise the mysticator space including mesoteric or submesoteric space, pterygomandibular space, deep temporal space and superficial temporal space. The pterygomandibular space is formed by the medial pterygoid muscle and the ascending ramus. The submesoteric space uh, is bounded by the mesoter muscle and the lateral aspect of the ascending ramus of the, of the mandible. The superficial temporal space uh, is formed by the temporalis fascia, this one, and the temporalis muscle and the deep Temporal space is formed by the temporalis muscle and the calvarium or skull. These four spaces function as a subspaces of the masticator space. The infection can spread rapidly to these subspaces of the masticator space as well as to the lateral pharyngeal space. Uh, here in this uh, clinical photograph of the masticator space infection, all compartments are involved. Uh, frontal view demonstrating swelling interior to the uh, ear and in the temporal region uh, on the right side, the uh, right ear is invisible due to swelling hair. Oblique view uh, shows the dimpling of the swelling over the zygomatic arch with the temporal swelling above and submesetic swelling below. These are the contents of the pterygomandibular space. The most common direct route of the spread of the infection from the mandibular third molar is to the pterygomandibular space. Uh, this is the space where you give local anesthesia, that is block injection for ID and lingual nerve. The boundaries of the pterygomandibular space include buccal space that is uh, located anteriorly, uh, parotid gland is located posteriorly. Uh, on the medial side, there is a medial pterygoid muscle. Uh, where is on the lateral side, uh, there is a ascending ramus of the mandible. Uh, superiorly, there is a 
lateral pterygoid muscle and inferiorly uh, there is inferior border of the mandible hair. Importantly, the pterygomandibular space of the masticator space is involved in 78% of cases similar to the submesoteric space infections of the pterygomandibular space often originate from an infected mandibular uh, third molar or adjacent soft tissue inflammation. When an isolated pterygomandibular space is present, minimal or no extra oral facial swelling will be present. However, a critical clinical feature is the trismus due to the involvement of the medial pterygoid muscle. Radiographically, the medial pterygoid muscle may be enlarged due to inflammation and edematous engorgement. Uh, in the case of abscess formation, a fluid collection may be seen between the medial pterygoid muscle and the medial surface of the ramus of the mandible. Uh, a CT scan with intravenous contrast will help visualize the abscess cavity because the contrast will be isolated uh, to the blood vessels at the periphery of the abscess cavity and will be seen as a ring enhancement. Uh, this is not the city of the pterygomandibular space infection, but the infection in a submesoteric space just to demonstrate the concept of ring enhancement. Intraoral examination is typically very difficult to perform due to marked trismus, but it may reveal erythema and uh, edema of the anterior tonsillar pillar region and occasionally deviation of the vulva to the unaffected side, especially when the infections begin to extend into the lateral pharyngeal space. Uh, this is a clinical photograph of the uh, pterygo mandibular space abscess due to a carious lower third molar with swelling uh, of the anterior tonsillar uh, pillar and deviation of the vulva to the opposite side. The airway may be compromised, which contributes further to the severity and urgency of the clinical scenario. The contents of the submesoteric space, uh, the boundaries of the submesoteric space, uh, anteriorly, uh, there is a buccal space and posteriorly is the parotid gland. Uh, lateral aspect uh, of the ascending ramus uh, of the mandible on the medial side uh, and the mesoteric muscle is on the lateral side of the submesoteric space. Uh, superiorly, uh, is the zygomatic arch and uh, inferiorly is the inferior border of the mandible. Infection may spread from the buccal space to the submesoteric space. Traditionally, it is the pterygomandibular and submesoteric spaces that are involved first when a posterior mandibular molar, for example, uh, a periapical infection or pericoronitis is the offending source. Another common cause of the submesoteric space infection uh, is an infected mandibular angle fracture. The primary clinical finding in the submesoteric space involvement is trismus due to inflammation of the mesoteric muscle. Here in this photograph, uh, the trismus caused by the right submesoteric space abscess. Note that the lobe of the right uh, ear is not visible by the right submesoteric swelling, uh, whereas the left uh, ear lobe is visible. Radiographic uh, computed tomography. CT scan, MRI, uh, signs of submesoteric space infection may include diffuse uh, enlargement of the mesoteric muscle due to the swelling. Here, this is a abscess in the submesoteric space, and this is the diffuse swelling. Again, in this uh, photograph, severe uh, trismus is seen. Uh, the usual source uh, is uh, from other spaces uh, in temporal space infection. Uh, the other spaces may be infratemporal, mesoteric space, pterygomandibular space, uh, boundary of the temporal space is already been uh, defined. Uh, superficial temporal space uh, is located between the fascia and the muscle and deep temporal space is between the muscle and the skull bone. Uh, because infection usually spread in a caudal gravity dependent manner, only the most severe infections will reach the temporal spaces superficial and deep. Uh, when these uh, spaces are involved, the swelling that occurs in is evident in the temporal area superior to the zygomatic arch and posterior to the lateral orbital rim. Uh, clinically, there will be pain and edema with, with fluctuance in advanced temporal space infections overlying the temporal bone superior to the zygomatic arch. Uh, tenderness, trismus, malaise, or fever is also observed. Here you can see a temporal space infection. Uh, swelling is not usually 
seen cardinal to the zygomatic are due to the dense attachment of the anterior layer of the deep cervical fascia to the zygomatic arch when uh, either of the temporal spaces and uh, uh, the sub submesenteric space are both infected in our glass a shape uh, can be detected in the frontal view uh, the concept of appearance like in our glass uh, the involvement of both uh, the submesenteric and temporal spaces produce in our glass appearance edematous swelling uh, due to the lack of swelling just inferior to the zygomatic arch the temporal and submesenteric swelling uh, that is a uh, submesenteric swelling that is below and and temporal swelling that is above is seen in this clinical photograph ct scan demonstrating abscess collections are infection uh, in the masticator space here you can see the coronal view uh, with abscess uh, lateral and medial to the superior ramus medial to the zygomatic arch and extended uh, superiorly uh, axial view uh, showing uh, infection on both sides of the ramus on the medial and on the lateral aspect and here uh, this abscess uh, deep to the zygomatic arch and in the infratemporal fossa uh, here again the axial view involving the temporalis muscle in the temporal fossa thank you wish you best of luck